this up here, make sure we're all good. Alrighty, starting out of the IS committee meeting, uh, it is 6.03 and we'll call this meeting to order. Um, let's get approvals for tonight's agenda. Can I get a motion? Second. Perfect. <clears throat> All that good. Let's go on here to. Mr. Chairman, can I make a motion to suspend Rule 11.6 since we have you virtual today and we're discussing and possibly voting on the redundant fiber loop? We sure can. Uh, we will get a vote of those in person. I'll second that so that we can do that. Okay. A vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. I don't know what we're voting on. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, rule 11.6 disallows for remote voting, but it can be temporarily suspended for this meeting. Right now, if we were to move forward, we would have a 4 0 vote. So I'm hoping to look a little bit stronger before the board. And I would prefer a 5 0 vote. I'm sure we all would. I don't know if it will, if we'll all vote that way, but I would like the option <laughs> at least. <laughs> Walking in optimistically. Alrighty. So we, we understand that this vote will be to suspend rule 11.6. So just point, for this meeting. Just for this meeting. Correct. All those in favor can signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Gary, alrighty. And we will jump right into it here. Um, I, have, I, have a, I have a question before we start. Sure. Just to make sure. Is um, uh, Supervisor Norton officially still a member of this committee or here as an observer tonight? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page with that. Um, from what I am aware, uh, he is no longer a part of this committee and uh, he would be an observer at this time. Okay, I just wanted to be sure, thank you. Absolutely, thank you for asking. Alrighty, um, we'll go forward here with uh, approval of minutes of the previous meeting. Um, can I get a motion on the floor? So moved. Second. I have just a minor technicality on it. Um, on number nine, it says the fire department was also interested. And that's actually, <clears throat> excuse me, the city of Oshkosh. Oh, okay, perfect. Who, who has the fire departments. Okay, so correction. Absolutely. And then number eight, if, I don't know, um, right about in the middle of the paragraph, it says the goal was to smooth out the levy account. Um, and it it was the levy request, you oh, know, what sure. you would ask for, not, well, that's a minor thing too. No, that's totally fine. <laughs> well, that makes a big difference. It does. Perfect. That was all I had. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, so we'll move forward then with uh, just look for the approval. I think there was a motion in second. Yeah, we have a motion in second. My apologies, my video might have cut out there. That's okay. Um, so then we will go on then with number five. Discussion uh, and of uh, board. That's okay. I think we skipped over public comment and voting. <laughs> and voting. Totally skipped over public comment. My apologies. That's okay. Can we vote to vote to approve the minutes for today, though? Yes. Uh, let's uh, go forward here. All those in favor of approving the minutes, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carrie, all right, we'll, we'll uh, 
do the public comments. Is there anyone who would like to express um, any comments, concerns regarding um, anything regarding our committee? Yeah, um, I will, Mr. Chairman, quick. Uh, Jacob Blow, 503 North Main Street, Dash Dash. Um, happy to serve on this committee. Excited to work with all you guys and um, can we get things started. Thanks. And I would just like to thank Supervisor Norton for his time on the committee. Any other comments? Not seeing any. All right, public comment is closed. So now on to discussion and vote of election of officers. Um, so we've been without a vice chair uh, at this time. And so we are going to uh, nominate and vote on someone to fill that spot after former supervisor Peschel had resigned. Um, so uh, I would like to make the motion to nominate uh, Rachel, Supervisor Rachel Dowling for vice chair. Um, I think she's served, uh, she's served honorably and efficiently as our secretary, and I would like uh, to see her uh, take the next step, uh, especially within our committee, so. Second. Thank you. Any discussion, any other nominations? I'll nominate myself as someone as a, having have having experience working with uh, um, City of Menasha IT steering committee. Okay. And I'm not hearing a second on that nomination. So I believe we still only have technically one nomination on the floor. Um, so we'll go forward with voting. Uh, all those in favor of Supervisor Rachel Dowling becoming vice chair signify by saying aye. Aye. Abstain. Any oppose? Mr. Chairman, I just want to point out that being the citizen member, I don't have a vote on this. So I should not be reflecting in that vote. Thank you very much for that. It's a, it's a good reminder to have. <clears throat> and with that, um, now with Supervisor Dowling becoming vice chair, there is an opening for the secretary position within the committee. Uh, are there any nominations? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate myself for secretary of this committee. I serve as the secretary of the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee. Um, and I can take minutes and have to take minutes uh, from the floor, and I'd like to get the whack. Second. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like typing. laughs> All righty, we have a nomination and a second. Is Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? With that, uh, we'll go forward with the vote. Uh, we have Supervisor Flom, who is nominated for the Secretary of the IS Committee. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Carried. I will abstain. Right. All right, and abstain, perfect. All righty, we will go on here to item number six, discussion, possible vote of redundant fiber loop. Um, I will turn it over to uh, Director Frankor as we would, uh, take a little update on where we're going here with this. I know there was something on the agenda at the last board meeting that potentially uh, had this funded through some ARPA funds. So uh, just kind of looking to get a little bit more insight from yourself. Sure. So I, I do believe everybody's probably heard this <laughs> information uh, already, um, but <clears throat> it started out as a, in the CIP program and was possibly going to be put into the ARPA funding and that was 
negated at the last board meeting. So I specifically requested it in order for us to move forward because ideally you will get a bid out for fiber work as early in the year as possible because when the ground is frozen, they're lining up all their work for when the ground thaws. And if we wait any much, you know, any longer, it just puts us off later in the year when they'll be able to get to us. I'm hoping to um, get a vote and then it is back in the regular CIP. Um, that is what I had requested and it was approved by the county exec, the DOA and the finance director, I think. So um, what that means is this year we're doing the bulk approval for CIP. So um, on the next PNF meeting, um, all of them will be together and this one will be included and then it will go to the board on February 28th again okay. for the and I I have done presentation on it so I don't know if I have to do anything again or if they'll you know Mike Hollard knows that I, I did presentation on it already so you're on the agenda for Tuesday <clears throat> February 7th yeah um, which is no problem so again, um, just to recap for you guys, it's a, a redundant fiber loop to give us the capability to um, survive online if there's a cut anywhere on the loop. So it'll the, connect this building with the sheriffs via a different route than we already have. So if there's a, think of it as a circle, and if there's a cut anywhere, it can reroute the other way on the circle. The other thing it will allow us to do is um, do maintenance where it's planned. You know, there's unexpected downtime and then there's planned downtime. And that will also allow us to keep things up to just do maintenance type things. Um, it will help the backup traffic because we send a lot of things over the fiber to the sheriff's office because we have redundant equipment there. So it will help that as well. Um, but I think the big thing is kind of disaster recovery. If there's a, a cut or an outage, um, we also have two paths to a point of presence for the internet. So all of our internet used to come from UWO. That's where we like jump on the internet. If you want to think of it that way, our little fiber network connect plugs into the big World Wide web, <laughs> whatever you want to call it at UWO. And now we also have, through WISCnet is who our um, internet provider is, we have another point of presence out of Menasha PD. So we can also, we will have redundancy built in if something happens between here and UWO, because that would have still been um, a single point of failure. So like if the fiber got cut in between there, we, we have an ability to go to Menasha PD for the internet now, same provider and everything. So it has a lot of good um, to this project. Um, and the other thing is I did speak with AT&T and Spectrum. Those were the two I actually got numbers from for what it would be to lease instead of buy or own this fiber. And the average cost was, I think it was 80. I, I had it in the agenda report item, but I, it was 8,000 or 8,800 um, per month. So there's not a very long payback um, to own our fiber. Granted, there's some ongoing maintenance, but I think it doesn't take long before 8,000 a month um, is very costly. So that, I guess, is the general picture. If there are questions. Well, I thought that we, that the county board approved this as part of its annual budget in November. Well, it was in the CIP. And it was presented as part of the budget. Okay. I, I remember you standing in front of us <laughs> saying, this is, this is part of the budget. Here's what we're doing. Here's the dollar amount it's in the budget. So <laughs> help me understand why we're having to do this again. Well, I, I, I've been confused myself because then the ARPA commission also voted on it and approved it. But then the board declined, you know, denied what was being done with the ARPA funds. 
Is so it because we're using ARPA money instead of the county money? We're not now. We were yeah. we were going to. That's what the county exec wanted. Okay. And it was put in ARPA, and then the commission voted to approve it as well. Okay. But then, at the last board meeting, and the whole ARPA discussion, there were I know there were multiple people with projects in there, and I mean once it wasn't approved to do the Spirit Fund. Yeah. Ours were all negated for the time being. <laughs> so this basically was removed from that popular <clears throat> project that was here from the back to the general CA. Correct. But my, my point is, if it was approved as part of the budget, mm -hmm. then it never really was removed. And so what we're doing here tonight is redundant. That's how I see it. But yeah. I, I don't think it was in the general fund. It is the CIP a separate? Fund where it would probably any project that would go into that would need to be approved and have a presentation done on it, correct? So typically for the CIP, you go to the board and present what it is, and then you come back a second time and ask for the money to be approved. Now mm -hmm. we had all this stuff in between, so yeah. which, I, which you did both times. You came to the board, you presented, and then you were there again at budget time. So I'm just making the point that this committee and the county board and the executive and whomever have already been here. And until somebody can tell me that it's not been approved, <laughs> then then um, then I see what we're doing here as redundant. I'll go ahead and vote again. It's just um, very um, confusing presentation, not on you. Um, but very confusing process that is being played out here. Because I do remember your budget presentation last year mm -hmm. having the fire relief in it. And I don't know whether that was moved out or moved into a separate, you know, separate kind of tranche of projects. I'm, I'm just a little bit confused on that too. Mm -hmm. One other piece of info is this project was two phase. So the first was the engineering. That was a piece in the CIP. That was like 80,000. 75. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that, I remember approving that the yeah. first time. Yeah. The first and time then, director Frank worked <laughs> And then phase two is the actual construction of it. Got it. Okay. So okay. I was, so maybe that's why. It's yeah, and I think that's probably because of budget time to be approved the engineering phase of this. Because you're saying this is broken down into two phases. Right. Well, the the engineering part was probably approved before 2022, even because that was planned to be done in 2022. Yeah. So I mean, I'll support this because the longer we wait. The more expensive it's just going to be, and we're already seeing that. Um, and the bids need to go out. So, and I'm just following what I was told once it came back out of ARPA money. I understand to go to PNF and the board again. So, got it. Okay. And then phase two, I'm assuming we're waiting till the ground thaws before we start. Well, we want to get the bid out right away. Sure. And okay. then we'll have um, a vendor retained if that's the right word um, okay. for the project and then yeah it's there when they quote unless you say i want it done i don't care if the ground is frozen or not sure it's for thawed ground so okay. if they had to quote for frozen ground it would be much higher sure okay. so unless you specify please do it whenever you can and they'll say well we'll do it now for you know three times the cost or whatever sure okay so or yeah you could say we'll do it now just because they need the work Great. Right. And do we have a final cost on the project or S or not yet? This is just the green light to move forward with phase two. No, we do. We have a cost. Um, okay. Again, it, yeah, it was all part of, and we're partnering with um, the city of Oshkosh, the fire departments connecting on um, it's fire station 18 to 19, which is the corner of Bowen and Murdoch okay. to out by Snell. Um, West of 76. Sure. Now. And so they are contributing to the to the money. The estimate is 
higher than what was expected because we estimated with um, a combination of aerial and underground. Sure. And this route is, we're being told um, via the city and county and whatever areas, um, jurisdictions we go through, town of Finland, whatever, um, that it has to all be underground. Oh. So it is more expensive, but we're saving like 212,000, I think, um, with the city of Ashkash going joint with us for a good chunk of it. Sure, okay. Just making a note for myself. So what, what is the, the amount that we are asked to approve tonight? That is where I'm trying to get. I don't know if I have a copy of the um, the agenda report I did for the, the board meeting. I should. Hang on. Could still be in here. <laughs> Um, an another point too is the um, the new human services building shelter care on Harrison because we're going almost right by it that is also going to be connected in here as part of this project um, that's an additional cost in here as well because that came on after the original estimates okay. we were leasing that building and then in talking to um, director Tofel, I learned that we're buying it so we're going right by there, so we're connecting that as well. Okay. Um, so it's it's about seven. The total of the project is like seven hundred and fifty-five thousand, and the city part will be two hundred and twelve. Okay, so we're taking the seven hundred fifty thousand and subtracting the two hundred twelve. Two twelve. Two hundred twelve. Four hundred. What is so 542 600 is what we um what it comes to us for at the same time. Would it the motion be for the full 750? Yes, whatever we're, we're paying for the whole thing, and then we're going to invoice the city of Oshkosh and get that amount back. Thank you. Okay, good question. Thank you. All righty, any further discussion on this? Seeing none, we will bring this to the question. All those who are in favor of approving and asking, or I guess approving of the 750,000 uh, to complete the fiber loop. Chairman? Yes. Would it be okay if I made a motion first? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve phase two of the redundant fiber loop project in the estimated amount of $755,000. Was there a second? I'm sorry. Second. Yeah, Flo. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All righty. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, carries. So that will be going to the overall board. All righty, discussion on the committee name change, IS to IT. Uh, Patty, if you want to give us an update on that. So I think we're done, as far as I know, at changing the department name. From IS to IT and signage has already been updated. Minimal cost, they're like sticker strips that they did. We print our own business cards and letterhead, so it's minimal because we don't use a lot. Sure. Um, so the next thing was the committee name. And I talked to Sue Ertmer and she said, you guys have to present a resolution to the board amending section. 23.1 and 24.12 of the county board rules. 
in order to change our name from IS to IC. And I, I just under the thought of those two rules, does that is that pretty much calling out our committee as IS? So we would just have to amend those rules to say IT. I believe so. And then Patty, what was that rule again? It's 23.1 L and 24.12. And then because it is outside of the April organizational meeting, it re will require a two thirds vote. <laughs> well, I have a hard time believing that we will uh, not get that through. Um, as we have already kind of moved in that direction. So I think, I think we're on track for that. So um, I would hope. Would be yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would, I would love to hear an argument against it. Just, just for the sport of it at this point. Yes. But. <laughs> Does the committee need to have a resolution or approve the, a resolution in order for it to go before the board? Because we technically can't do that tonight. Yeah, I didn't mean that we needed them. Um, I can't. It was probably appropriate that the committee actually suggested. Right. Yeah. Uh, the department or one of us. Can we write one right now? Or is that. I'm not running a resolution on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't give you the email that has what student reply means. I, I think this would require a resolution. I, I don't think we can do this now. I think this would require a resolution from either your department or, or one of us. And so I guess we can we can discuss about who wants to do it and who wants to do it, but this would require somebody to author this, bring it forward, the committee approves it, and then we go to the board. I mean, you can almost utilize the paragraph Sue has there just to, you know, rephrase it to say we amend, we would like to amend or propose amending this, whatever. I just wonder can we. But we, yeah, we can't vote on it. I, I don't think we can vote. No, because that's past the agenda. Okay, yep. so can we we can request that one be drafted and then submit it to well, the IS committee. Mm -hmm. That full committee submitted by the well, IS committee. No, this is the going to be the should come from the yeah. committee. Yeah. Would it be out of order of some sort? if this was to be drafted up individually by one of us and then for us to bring it forward to the next county board meeting with all of us as uh, like a sponsor to, to that resolution. If, yeah. if, if, if it's, like, let's, say, let's, let's just say for a like timing issue wise, if we wanted to get this done sooner without having to actually draft up a resolution, bring it back to another committee meeting, rather just have us all on board and sign on to the, you know, mm -hmm. pretty much to that resolution to change the name and just have it done by being brought directly to the county board. And as your prerogative as county board supervisors to do that, it would make sense for you as individuals to sponsor it. Sure. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I was going to say, does anyone oh. have any objection to that by chance? I think the deadline for this meeting for the seventh is passed, but oh, okay. okay. So the uh, the next one though is the twenty eighth. Yeah. 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 I was thinking. Yeah, teeing this up for the twenty eighth. Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, that just defies all. Established process of committee and county board. And so I, I, and and I don't feel comfortable. I'm not comfortable voting on with putting my name on a resolution that I have not seen. Sure. Well, like 
if I, for example, or uh, I don't know, anybody, Supervisor Gustafson wrote it and you can see it first, would that be okay? But we should vote on it as a committee because okay. the, the committees make recommendations to the county board. Sure. I guess, is there, is there like a time concern? Like, do we need to do this before the April meeting? Because that's, I don't I think it affects anything technically. It's just our name is out of sync, you know, the department and the committee, everyone can understand what it is. Sure. It's just, yeah, they just don't match up in it. So there's no, I don't think there's any, you know, detriment to any functions that. Okay. Okay. That, that yeah, that would just be my concern is if it has time sensitivity to it. If not, then we'll we'll continue forward um, okay. with bringing that as a resolution to our next committee meeting. Okay, um, I guess I move that we table the discussion of changing the name until our April meeting. Who, I just have a question. Who usually drafts the resolutions in this case? Is that something staff does or something yes. that the committee chair does or corporation council? Most likely they want to do it anyway. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so I think we as the committee give a directive to, to have a resolution drafted, changing the name of so I think that's a that's a better way of going about what we're trying to do than to table it yeah, or postpone it to the next meeting. We are taking that way we send the message that we are taking action. Okay. Of, giving the direction to have the resolution drafted. Okay. Um, I will rescind my motion. Um, I move that our chairman contact Corporation Council and ask them to draft a resolution changing our name. I can do that. I don't think we need that in motion. I think I can just, okay. I think I can just take that on. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. All righty. That was our last item. Looks like our next committee meeting is Thursday, April 13th at 6 p.m. And I believe we will uh, move to probably have it in that same exact location if that works um, well uh, with scheduling wise. I think that looks like a pretty good location. Perfect. All righty. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Second. All, right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, opposed. All righty, Carrie. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. I think that was a world.